Let me start by thanking the press for being patient. Uh, we have many family members. Some of them have traversed a great distance to be here, and we have tried our very best to coordinate things such that they can all have the opportunity to be together, not only today, but at the homegoing ceremony. This is a very sad occasion for all of us. It is a sad occasion for anyone who knows the story. It's a sad occasion because on November 12th, a very promising young 10-year-old American citizen lost his life. And at this time of Thanksgiving, it's especially sad for the family because this Thanksgiving will not be the same without the baby. Ten years old, he's a baby to me. This Thanksgiving won't be the same. No Thanksgiving in the future will be the same. No first day of school will ever be the same. No hearing the laughter of children playing will be the same because they have suffered an insufferable circumstance that should not have taken place. This young child lost his life doing something that was perfectly legal in a place where he had every right to be with people that should not have engaged in the kind of conduct that caused him to lose his life. There are many, many, many things to be said today. There will be many people who will speak, but not anything said will be more important than this. He should not have lost his life at that flea market. It just shouldn't have happened. Obviously, the shooter should be held responsible and should be punished to the fullest extent that the law allows. But there are others who are culpable as well. Society has played a role in this child's losing his life. Society has accepted the notion that people can, without training, can, without proper mental stability, possess lethality that can take the life of a person in an instant. We in Texas have some point have got to understand that we are in part responsible for what's happening. This is not the first and I regret to tell you that it won't be the last. But we have some responsibility because we have allowed laws to be promulgated that permit irresponsible people from having the kind of lethality that can take a life in an instant. And that is what happened to this young man. This family is suffering and they want relief. I think society wants relief, but that relief will not come today. They still have many more things that have to be done before they will get the relief they're looking for. We will not announce the date of the homegoing ceremony today. That's something that will be made known to you at a later time. We do want you to know that the grandfather, who at one point was thought to be a person that might not be at the homegoing ceremony, has been cleared to be here. He has been cleared to be here, and I want to thank those persons in the federal government that I personally talked to, to to get him the opportunity to have humanitarian parole so that he can be here for this homegoing ceremony. Make no mistake about it, there were persons in the government that made this possible and they should be appreciated and we want to thank them for what they have done. I want to thank the grandfather for coming this great distance and being here for the homegoing ceremony. 
it's exceedingly important that Mr. Hernandez, who has traveled some great distance, that he be here to comfort the family and to be comforted as well. It's important that his grandmother, the young man's grandmother, be here. Uh, he and Mr. Hernandez, she and Mr. Hernandez traversed this distance together, and I'm proud to tell you that she received her visa timely. He did not receive his. But the federal authorities understood the heartache and the heartbreak that's taking place, and they made this an issue for them such that they could receive this humanitarian parole and we can have the family together. But there's an angel among us that has to be given some degree of thanks and gratitude as well. Once we were able to get the family out of Mexico across the border, once they were across, they had to then make it from the crossing to Houston, Texas. Uh, there were many ways for this to occur. We looked at having them flown in, but the flights were all full and the flight that they could take would have been one that, in my opinion, would have delayed their getting here too long. So we could not get them to come by plane. They could have come by bus, but that would have taken even longer to get them here by bus. So we sought out the help of an angel. And I'm proud to tell you that there really are angels among us. Um, this beautiful lady, I call her Angel Ursula, Sister Urs Ursula, whom we have worked with before. Uh, Sister Ursula took it upon herself after we contacted her. Uh, she was in Laredo, Texas. That's where she has her ministry. And she suggested to us that she would contact Sister Joyce. Sister Joyce was in Eagle Pass. And she and Sister Joyce conversed. And these two angels agreed that one, that would be Sister Joyce, would receive them in Eagle Pass after they crossed into our country and they would tr transport them from Eagle Pass to a designated point and then Sister Ursula picked them up and brought them on to Houston. They arrived here last night at approximately 9.30 p.m. Uh, they, they came after Sister Ursula provided them with the opportunity to have food and to have comfort to the degree that you can have it. She has a beautiful van. She brought them here in her van. She has stayed over for this event because I wanted the world to see an angel. So I'm going to ask that we do something. This is not a celebratory time. There's a certain degree of solemnity associated with this event. But Sister Ursula deserves an expression of appreciation for what she has done to make this possible. And Sister Ursula, I'm going to invite you to say any word that you would like to to comfort the family, if you would come over, please. Any word of comfort that you would like to give, and I will bring this down for you. I definitely am uh, very appreciative to be able to help the family. I know it's a difficult time, and I do express my sympathies and accompany the family in their sorrowful time at this time and thank um, <clears throat> I am thankful that I was able to help them get here to their destination, and um, I know that the Lord will take care of them and help them to move forward as they continue on the journey. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Ursula. Let me now introduce some of the people who are here, some of whom you will hear from. Others have chosen not to make commentary, and then there are others who chose not to be here. Um, we have with us, I mentioned the grandfather, uh, Mr. Vincent Vicente, excuse me, Hernandez. Would you raise your hand so that they may see you? Ah, here he is here. Uh, we have the grandmother, uh, Miss Galinda Hernandez. We have with us the uncle uh, who is with us, uh, Mr. Duarte 
and his first name is Huvanal? Okay. We have another uncle, Raul Durante? Here, but not in the room. Okay. Uh, Guadalupe Durante? Here, but not in the room. There are many people involved. Sonia Reyes? Present? Okay. And of course, we have their attorney, uh, a person that I've had an opportunity to gain great appreciation for, for her outstanding effort to help this family. Uh, you'll hear from her in just a moment, Attorney Kim Bruno. We also have a person who is here representing the entity that has gone out of its way, it seems, to help this family through this time of bereavement in making the arrangements for the transition. And they are persons from the uh, Campion Funeral Home, and I want to thank them for what they're doing to help the family through this time of bereavement. So at this time, I'm going to ask their lawyer to give her comments. Thereafter, we will have one or two additional persons uh, who will give comments, and uh, I will field the questions from the press and uh, direct them to the appropriate persons as necessary. So at this time, would you come over, please, uh, Attorney Bruno, and make your comments. So this is obviously a very hard time right now for the clients, Nadia and Lindy, the people that the little boy left behind. Um, aside from everybody else here, the immediate family, she doesn't want to speak at this moment, but at a later date, maybe we could get you some more information on how she's doing. Um, but we're just all so grateful that Congressman Al Green was able to bring family members over across the border. As an immigration and a uh, accident and injury attorney, it is um, something that's very difficult for us to deal with when we're dealing with, you know, the bills that are being passed, the SB3, SB4, and just to know that our community is still strong, regardless of the bills that are being passed, just to know that there still is somewhat of a government backing to be able to um, pass immigrants into the country so that they don't miss such um, an opportunity to mourn for their loved ones with with their loved ones, and that's all I have to say. I am uh, especially pleased to introduce the next person who will speak. Um, very strong, an anchor in this family, uh, someone whose presence is well respected and much needed. I am honored now to ask the grandfather who has traversed many miles to be here uh, Mr. Hernandez, would you now give your commentary? And I need for, where's my translator? Would you translate what I've just said so that he will understand what he's about to do? Okay. And we will have some translation as he speaks. Primeramente, quiero dar gracias a Dios. First thing that I want to do is give thanks to the Lord for the opportunity that the Lord gave me to be with my daughter, to hug her, to give her a word of um, for what happened the past past November, November 12, de la 5.40 de la tarde. De recibir esa fatal noticia que mi nieto, que mi nieto perdió la vida en esa en, es, en ese enfrentamiento en esa balacera. Que se desarrolló allí en la pulga de la perla. Lamentamos We're sorry. de una manera muy grande very, lo sucedido. Es un dolor que, que no se puede describir, es un dolor en el corazón. It is a pain that I cannot describe. It is a pain in my heart. Es un dolor 
tan grande de este angelito de escasos 10 años. Como abuelos cristianos, As Christian grandparents, creemos que Él está en el cielo. We believe that he is in heaven. Porque así lo dijo el Señor Jesús, dejad que los niños vengan a mí, porque de ellos es el reino de los cielos. Porque así lo dijo nuestro Señor. Because that's the way that, I'm so sorry guys, I'm so emotional. Because that, that is the way that, the, that our Lord Jesus Christ said, let the children come to me, because the, 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 theirs is the, the, it's heaven. Y por el otro lado quiero agradecer. I, on the other side, on the other side, I want to say thank you. A todos los reporteros de las diferentes televisiones, Telemundo Internacional, Canal 11, que han estado entrevistándonos. Muchas gracias a todo este equipo, muchas gracias al congresista, muchas gracias a la señorita Nancy, Nayeli. He wants to say thank you to all of you reporters, to all the anchors that have been helping, that have been uh, 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 reporting. He wants to say thank you to you, Congressman, for what you've done. And also, no. Nayeli. La señorita, uh, Nayeli, Nayeli, Canal 11. Oh, Nayeli, Canal 11. The, uh, Channel 11. He wants to say thank you to Channel 11. Thank you to Telemundo. Gracias. Muchas gracias al congresista. No thank sé you. decir su nombre en inglés. Thank you very, uh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much to, to the congressman. I don't know how to say his name in English. Que él se conmovió en el corazón because para enviar him. por nosotros ahí en Laredo. He moves his heart, you know, and he sent for us over there in Laredo. Y traernos a Houston para estar con mi hija. And to bring us to Houston to be with our daughter. Muchas gracias a todo este equipo, a todo este corazón enorme. Yo, Thank you to all this team, to all this big heart. I, yo en lo particular no les puedo pagar. I, on my own, I cannot pay you. Pero hay un Dios que but, se los va a pagar. But there is a God that will give you a reward. Y se los va a multiplicar en muchas bendiciones. And he will multiply it in many blessings to you. Que Dios los tenga en muy alto a todos ustedes. May muchas the, gracias. May the Lord muchas gracias a todo este you. equipo. Thank you, thank you muchas very much gracias, muchas team. gracias. Thank you, thank you very much. She's very distraught, but uh, she will make a few comments. So let's all be very patient with her as she makes her comments, please. This is, this is the grandmother, Mrs. Hernandez. Esta es la abuelito, la señora Hernandez. Primeramente, quiero darle gracias a Dios. The first thing that I want to do is to thank the Lord, to thank God. Y quiero que apoyen a mi hija. Gracias. And I want you to a la licenciada, al congresista. And I want you to help my daughter, to help the congressman, to, to help the lawyer, to help the congressman. A Sonia, a la señora Úrsula. A Sonia, that's I. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, Sister Úrsula. A la familia Sánchez Lucas. Family, to, to the family Sanchez Lucas, que ha estado siempre con nosotros. Has always been with us. Bendiciones. Blessings. Y que apoyen a mi hija porque mi hija ha sido un brazo fuerte para nuestras vidas. Please help our daughter. She has been a strong arm for our lives. Y que Dios le dé la fuerza y la fortaleza. May our Lord give her the strength. Anaile. Anaile. Anaile, they call Nadia Anaile. Mi nieta. My granddaughter. Y gracias a todo este equipo. And thank you to all this team. Por estar aquí. For being here. Para con nosotros. Bendiciones. Dios les bendiga a todos. Blessings. May God bless you all. Amen. Amen. Uh, 
Ms. Reyes, who is a friend of the family and who has been exceedingly helpful, is going to make a brief statement, and then we will entertain your questions. Thank you, Congressman. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. This is one thing that touches the heart of any mother, any, any human being that is out there, understand the pain that Nadia is going through. I have been called to serve, and that's what I'm doing here. Nadia doesn't want to eat. Nadia doesn't want to talk if I'm not next to her, and that's what I need to be. Uh, the flea market has been like a family to us, and I, this is the moment when they were thinking that I was a sister, but yes, I am a sister in the Lord, and I am here for them. Thank you guys for all the help that you're doing, and let's make aware, let's listen to what the congressman just told us. Let's be careful with all those guns out there, because there are many mothers crying for the violence and for those guns. Just the pain that we're going through with Chantillo, probably the mother of those kids that shoot that guns are going through the same thing. So you are our voices. Please make it, make it sound that we need to take care of all that violence that is going out there. We need to teach our children to love life because if they learn to love life, things like this will not happen. Thank you so much for your time and your... Oh, they want me to say it in Spanish. Okay. Muchas gracias a todos por estar aquí. Eh, soy amiga de Nadia. Nadia eh, ha sido su amiga en las cosas pequeñas. Tengo que ser su amiga en las cosas grandes. Y lo que les quiero decir es que oigamos a nuestro congresista lo que él dice de la violencia que hay ahí en las... Tal vez no estoy diciendo lo mismo que diga en inglés, pero en esencia les quiero decir lo mismo. Que pongamos atención de lo que está pasando allá afuera con esas armas, porque así como Nadia está sufriendo, también está la madre de esos niños que, porque eran unos niños también, que dispararon esas armas y está toda nuestra sociedad sufriendo. Tenemos que hacerle conciencia a nuestros niños como madres, como sociedad, que la vida es valiosa. Tenemos que enseñarles a amar la vida para que situaciones como estas no vuelvan a ocurrir. Yo les pido a ustedes que son nuestra voz, que lo que lo distribu que, que por favor distribuyan este mensaje lo más que ustedes puedan para que podamos parar para que nuestra sociedad pueda cambiar y estas situaciones de tener sufrimiento de madres por las armas pueda terminar muchas gracias a todos thank you again we thank the press for being here and uh, at this time we will entertain your questions yes Of course. Can you identify the uncle? Uncle. Okay. And you'll translate? Yeah, I will translate. Okay. Okay. I'll translate. Okay. I'll translate. Let me introduce you. This is Juan. He is Francisco Vicente Chente's <coughs> uncle. And he's going to tell us a little bit in Spanish, and I will translate for you. Estoy muy conmovido. Uh, very, uh, He's very sad. He's very sad. Eh, le mando un mensaje a, a todas las personas que oremos por esta familia. They want to say, I want to send a message to everybody to pray for this family. <coughs> Alguien me llamó de Somebody called me from close, close to the border, from the valley. Él no podía creer lo que sucedió, lo que pasó. He couldn't believe what happened. Y lo que él me dijo, Juanito, dice, and, es, what, and eh, what he told me, Juanito, ese niño, that boy, tenía un corazón muy bonito. He had a beautiful heart. Chente had a beautiful heart. Y se le va a extrañar. Y muchas personas que me conocen me han, me han preguntado por, me, por esta situación. Y es, es difícil dar un, una palabra. Y It is very difficult to give a word. Él ya no va a volver a jugar, a correr. A visitar a los amigos que tenía ahí en la primarque. Y esto es, es muy doloroso, muy triste. To visit his friends at the free market, and this is very, very, it hurts. It hurts. It's very painful. La verdad, yo, yo sí estoy, pues, 
como vida ¿eh? de esto pudo pudo haberme pasado a mí yo también tengo hijos pequeños this could happen to me mm -hmm. I also had small children pudo haberle pasado a alguien más it could happen to somebody else y solo pido oración por esta situación que I'll Dios I'll just ask for prayers in this situation que Dios les bendiga a todos ustedes may God bless you all y creemos que este pequeño está en el cielo con el Señor. And we believe that this young one, this, this little one, it's in heaven in our Lord. I'm sorry, can we get his name, your name, please, and the spelling? Juan. Juan Hernández Mendoza. Mm -hmm. All right, any other questions? Yes. Um, this question is, Señor Vicente, um, for the Arpasan? I'm just going to ask him a question. ¿Cómo se siente al al llegar aquí, al poder estar con su hija? ¿Cómo se sintió ayer al al verla, al poder abrazarla durante estos momentos difíciles? Would you translate your question yeah, to English, please? Yeah. And um, how did you feel yesterday when you saw your daughter and you were able to be with her in these uh, in these difficult Sí, al llegar aquí a Houston, me sentí muy contento el poder estar con mi hija. Creo que ha sido algo muy bueno, tanto para ella como para nosotros, como sus padres, porque me acompaña mi esposa. Y que afortunadamente pudimos abrazarla, pudimos llorar con ella, darle una palabra de aliento, decirle que nosotros estamos con ella en este momento tan crucial y decirle que le pida mucho a Dios que le dé fortaleza y sobre todo que le dé una paz, una paz que sobrepasa todo entendimiento humano. Eh, voy a decirlo por el Congreso, me, me está pidiendo que, que, yo, que yo hable, que dé un summary de lo que está diciendo. Dice que se sintió confuso. Oh, English. I'm so sorry, so stressed. I'm so sorry, guys. What he's asking is to give a summary, you know, what he said. And uh, he said that he was comfort to be here, to be able to hug her, to be able to tell her that they're here for her, that they love her very much, that they were also t to tell her, you know, that uh, the Lord will be her strength and to ask the Lord to give her peace, that peace that surpasses any understanding. And pretty much that's what it is. It was like a, as a parent, you know, to be able to hold your child and tell him, hey, I'm here for you. That's pretty much what he expressed. He, he feels that it's enough. I don't know if you have any other questions. Darle un beso este, y estar ahí con ellos. Ahorita creo que pues, no más lo necesitan. English. How did you feel hugging your niece and you you know, giving her comfort during the time that she needs you? She lost her brother. Yeah, your granddaughter, I'm sorry. Yo creo que ha sido algo muy hermoso de estar con ella. Algo que nosotros al estar con ella sentimos una fuerza muy bonita de parte de Dios que podemos darle esa palabra de aliento. Y también en esto quiero dar gracias a Dios por el congresista que me fue posible estar aquí para estar con mi hija. Nos sentimos muy contentos, muy afortunados de parte de Dios de poder abrazarla, como decía anteriormente, de poderle dar esa palabra de aliento. Hija, tienes que seguir adelante, tienes otra hija de escasos 14 años. Por ti mismo, por tus hermanos, tienes que seguir adelante porque 
nosotros hemos entendido que no quiere nada saber mayormente de esta vida. Pero Vicente, ya lo dijo el... No. Sí. Okay. It's, I'm going to be brief. It's pretty much similar to what, it's pretty much to what, to what he said before. He felt um, content. He feels like comfort to be able to hug her and to tell her we're here. And um, if again, he says that uh, it is good for them to be, for them to feel the support that they're bringing to them. And she, he is asking, you know, thank you, the Lord and trying to tell Nadia that doesn't wanna, really Nadia can talk. N Nadia is kind of like in a limbo, you know? And we're trying to tell her that, uh, there is, that, that her life needs to move on, that she has a young daughter that she needs to care for, and that um, he also mentioned to thank, it. he's so thankful, you know, to the, to the congressman. He again said, again, I wanna say thank you to the congressman, and pretty much that's it, just to be here for her family, for his family. Is it just one sibling? Only one sibling, just le it's just 14 year old. Yes. Right. We, we have one more question. We're, not, yes, we're, we're going to you. Everybody be patient. Go right ahead. Don Vicente, ya lo dijo su esposa, lo dijo Sonia, lo dijo el congresista, que padres de familia, yo creo que el mensaje de la violencia con las armas es importante también que usted lo toque. ¿Qué puede decir acerca de eso? Si puede decirlo. And my message is that the congressman and Sonia and also the grandmother had mentioned the violence, the with guns. Um, I think Don Vicente, I would like to hear what he has to say about that. Pues yo creo que con respecto a la seguridad de ese mercado, pues a la verdad, a, a lo que se ve, pues hay poca vigilancia, hay poca seguridad, porque si hubiera una seguridad competente e inmediatamente hubiesen detenido ese fuego que se dio ahí en esa hora. La verdad, lamentamos lo sucedido, lamentamos todo esto. Lamentamos eh, que mi nieto haya perdido la vida en esa balacera, la verdad. Y pues no sé, solamente las autoridades competentes pueden eh, resolver este asunto de seguridad. Muchas gracias. ¿Cuál es su mensaje para...? Yes. Oh, ok. Ya, yeah, coge, coge, coge. They, they want to say. Ay, so eh, don Vicente, lo primero que usted dijo fue que son las autoridades eh, las que tienen que, las que tienen que, que, que las autoridades pertinentes son las que tienen que ver, ver esta, esta cuestión de la seguridad. Eh, era, eh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to remember it so much. Okay, don Vicente, first he said that. Um, ¿qué fue? Okay, what he's saying that can you, just the authorities, the, the, the right authorities have to, to uh, are the ones in charge of the security? They are the ones that are competent to take care of situations like that. Mm -hmm. for, for, the, for, for that uh, security to be there at the flea market. So, so everybody that goes to the flea market, vendors or uh, visitors, can feel confident to come to the flea market. Thank you. Do you have any comment you know, about the person who uh, did this to you, <coughs> take your life or your grandson? Um, I, I, I don't know if um, the family is ready to speak on that right now, right? Um, we just know that we're going to work our hardest to be able to put security in place there at that flea market so that this doesn't happen again, so that young individuals who shouldn't be carrying guns don't carry them anymore, or that there is security in place for people to be able to go and buy and sell there without being in fear, right? Because this uh, Pearland flea market is... Uh, highly visited on the weekends. I mean, you have thousands of people flooding in and out, and there is not really 
uh, a lot of security and control. So we're working hard on that, and I just don't think that the family is ready to comment on that at this moment. Is that why you were hired? Are you going to go after the market? Are you their immigration attorney? What kind of role are you playing? Right, yeah, so I'm representing the family, and uh, I think at a later date we could, we could discuss that, right? But we're still strategizing. Our team is still strategizing at the moment. And is this a pro bono case you're taking, or are, you, uh, are they hired you officially? So I, I'm, I'm not at will to discuss that right now, but um, we're working, and there's a ton of support and a ton of things that are, be given, are, that are being given to the family at the moment to be able to protect them. So where's the next step? What them. are you planning to do now? We're planning on continuing to support the family and doing what we can. Again, I'm an accident immigration attorney, so we're working to uh, help the family the best that we can. So I just want to add to that and ask you. Um, so you said that to us yesterday, but I wanted to emphasize, are you planning to sue that family? Right now, at this time, I think that we're going to go ahead and, you know, get with the family and strategize on that. Okay. All right. Any additional questions? Looks like uh, all of your concerns have been satiated. Ah, one just, addition. Just one more. So, okay. If y'all are Last able to one. speak a little bit on what he was doing, I mean, he was just there with his mother, right, at the flea market. If y'all could speak a little bit just to how, how random and tragic all of this is. Okay. I'm, I'm going to start with the lawyer and we'll move from there yeah. as she sees appropriate. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Chente, he grew up, was basically brought up there at the flea market. So, um, he was always there. And um, it was a tragedy. It did happen, right? You know, he was playing soccer, just randomly playing soccer in the middle of the. Uh, inside of the flea market. There's an indoor and outdoor and um, that it just happened, so. Well, and do y'all know any of the other victims? Anybody else who was shot or anything like that? Right now, and I, I'm not at liberty to talk about the other individuals who were actually victimized as well. Or the shooter either. Are y'all able to? Yeah, not right now. This is an ongoing investigation. We don't want to say too much, so. Well, thank you very much. I can say this. He was where he lawfully could be. He was not breaking any laws, and he should not have lost his life at that flea market or any other place. This is a young 10-year-old child doing what children do, playing. And we have to have a society that demands respect. And when we cannot get that respect for life, then people have to be punished. The person responsible for this should be punished to the fullest extent that the law allows. And society, at some point, has to accept some of the responsibility because this is not a one-off. It's almost normalized, to some extent, in our country to see these kinds of things occur. So we've got to make sure that society becomes concerned to the extent that we change the laws such that irresponsible people cannot carry this level of lethality. I want to thank all of you for being here, especially those who are going to take this message to the masses, and I'm sure there will be many more things to be said at a later time. Thank you very much. This ends our interview. Thank you. Do you plan to visit the flea market and talk to the owner of the flea market about security? Uh, or? So, right, um, I think that they will, we're sure that they have a legal team, right? So um, I, I don't plan on going over there. This We have an investigation, state of um, service that would go and do all that. Okay. What about you, Sabrina? I plan to see the flea market. I plan to see the place where this young man lost his life. I'm not a part of the litigation. Uh, this is in capable, competent, and qualified hands. But as a member of Congress, I'm concerned about people in general, and I'm especially concerned about the people that are my constituents. So I plan to go there, yes. I want to see the place, and I want to get a better understanding of what happened. Thank you, everybody. Will there be a vigil or anything there this weekend? Uh, we're thinking about these things, and we will we'll keep you posted. But thank you for bringing it up. Thank you very much. Thank all of you. Thank you.